Okay, today we got a little product review, product unveiling of the SciTech Eclipse 3 Backlit Multimedia Keyboard. It's a very nice keyboard. I wasn't really thinking about buying it, but my boy had the SciTech Eclipse 2, and then he got the 3, and I was like, this is something I got to have. Now, the features it has for it, it's got the pass-through headphone and microphone audio ports. You can simply connect anything on the top right of the keyboard, right down there. It's got USB plug and play, which every device really needs because I hate keeping track of drivers, downloading drivers or CDs or whatever. The top of the keyboard has a touch sensitive control panel. We can change the settings real quickly and easily. That's very convenient for everything you want to do. You can adjust the color and the backlighting with the control keys at the top right. It's got the bright LED environment, it's got the low light environment, so you can change it from different colors from blue, red, purple. And it's got this little thing at the bottom right, right down here as you can see which lets your hands and your wrist on it and rest and everything like that. Nothing too fancy, nothing too new. And SciTech has been a corporation that's been out for a while. I think they got bought out by Mad Cats in 2007. Who would ever thought Mad Cats would be making some good peripherals and gaming devices? I mean, up until the Street Fighter 4 arcade stick, I wasn't a believer. But sidetech has been around. They make things for, you know, computers, peripherals, gaming and proline things like that but as far as the keyboard goes it's a very good keyboard pretty big it's got things on the side right here so you can easily get to home forward back folders refresh favorite on the right side you got a sleep button my computer search email music and calculator now as far as the lights and everything go just flick that on right there and there you get the lights then you can change the different colors just like that So it doesn't have any macros or anything like that. I'm not really into MMOs or things that require tons of binding keys or anything. But it's a nice solid keyboard, nice good size. It doesn't move an inch when you put it down. And really, that's all I got to say. Take it easy.